everyone makes mistakes, even me. So let's talk about how I have sometimes been wrong about at least a couple of things. So first of all, we're going to go into a bit of an update. The you're wrong about joining the SCP wiki video is most of the images on the screen for it are essentially entirely inaccurate because about a month after I made the video, the site changed the format of the sidebar. So everything that I put in there is, uh, well, not all of it's u useless. The, the joining process is still the same, so that information is useful. But the step-by-step -step process of click here, click here, do this, do that, none of that hap none of that's applicable anymore <laughs> i guess it, i guess i made it too easy <laughs> anyway actually they were plan they were planning that change for a little while i should have paid closer attention see that was a mistake on my part they've been planning they were planning to change the sidebar for quite some time before i made that video it just hap I, I, I don't have a lot of confidence in the in the SCP Wiki staff to actually uh, follow through on their changes, so I just kind of figured, you know, I, mean, I, I waited a really long time, actually, and then I was like, you know what, they're probably never going to actually do this, they're just going to do this thing where they say they're going to do a thing and then never do it, and then like a year later they have a vote all over again about the same fucking thing. Anyway, uh, a couple of places where I said things and got corrected numerous times in the comments, but I wasn't actually wrong. I just didn't go into enough detail for people to think I understood what was going on. One of them was, uh, <laughs> uh, I think there was a meme. It was, yeah, it was a dank meme video. And I said something along the lines of, uh, SCP. Or, no, no, I didn't mention the SCP. I said, someone said God exists on the SCP wiki already, the Abrahamaic God. And I said, does he? Does he really? And, and the point of that was to say <laughs> that uh scp-343 isn't really god uh, but people instead somehow took it despite the fact that i wrote scp-2343 which is a spiritual rewrite of scp-343 and i've talked numerous times about how i don't like scp-343 uh, people took that as to mean i didn't know about scp-343 and i got several comments of people going uh, uh, dude scp-343 is literally an scp on the wiki so that happened, and another dank meme video, I talked about Bethesda uh, and their shitty game uh, <laughs> uh, timelines where they rushed stuff out the door, and I talked about how they rushed uh, Fallout New Vegas out the door, which they did. And I like the idea that people knowing the background of this uh, understand that Bethesda rushed Obsidian to get the product out the door. That was what happened in that particular instance. But I didn't use the word obsidian. So I got a ton, and I mean a ton of comments on that video uh, from people going, oh my god, you didn't know that obsidian made Fallout New Vegas? Or Fallout New Vegas is the only Fallout game not made by... By the way, someone actually said that, by the way, which is itself wrong, considering that Bethesda made the modern Fallout games... <laughs> But they said that Fallout New Vegas is the only <laughs> Fallout game not made by Bethesda. <laughs> uh, fuck that guy. But um, yeah, that was <laughs> that was a thing that happened as well. Like, oh, I didn't mention Obsidian. You must not know about Obsidian because <laughs> I apparently, despite the fact that I know about the development process behind the game, I don't know who the developer is. Okay, because I didn't mention it. Uh. All right, we're going to get into uh, a closer to actual wrong because I have I have two li two listed for that where I was actually incorrect. Uh but we're going to go with one that's a little bit debatable for me because I don't really feel like I got it wrong so much as deliberately left it out. Maybe I shouldn't have considering the name of the video was you're wrong about object classes and my disdain for a polyon uh meant that I didn't really bother talking about it all that much and people were like, well, "What about a polyon?" And uh, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and I said this is in response to a lot of the people who asked, what about a polyon? Or I think the, the, the question was, what does a polyon mean, though? And I said, it means you too spent way too long thinking about your object class. Like, seriously, your object class doesn't, it's not going to make or break your article. Just pick something that fits and fucking move on. Jesus. And finally, uh, let's go over a couple of things where I actually said the wrong thing and didn't have the full information in front of me. Um, you're still wrong about SCP-096. I said that the image, uh, included in that article and talked about in that, uh, well, not the article, but the actual attached, uh, incident 
uh, included a picture where it, there were only three pixels of SCP-096's image on it, his face on it. And uh, I was corrected by a lot of people uh, to understand that it was actually four pixels, which to me doesn't feel like a really important distinction, but when you make an entire video about how other people are wrong about a thing, you'd better get the stuff that you're talking about correct exactly. It's perfectly fair. I mean, <laughs> I don't... I don't think it matters, but it's a perfectly fair thing to point out that I'm wrong. Uh, and finally, the one thing uh, that I, I mean, it's not even arguable that I got it wrong, uh, is you're wrong about amnestics. And I, uh, that doesn't sound right to me still. The word should be pronounced amnestics, but because it's a made up word and I'd never seen anyone else read it before, I've always pronounced it amnestics and I, I still probably will from time to time, but there's only one E, so by all rights, that should be pronounced amnestics. And to do an entire video about amnesti see, I did it. To do an entire video about amnestics and pronounce it cor incorrectly the entire time is pretty funny. Uh, there is a couple, there's still a couple people, even though I mentioned it in the video about object classes, who were pointing out that I pronounced Keter wrong, even though I was like, that was a whole, like, aside that I did, where I was like, hey, you know, sometimes, uh, words, the pronunciations change, that's just how it goes, some people say Keter, some people say Keter, Keter is technically correct, because the original pronunciation is Keter, but if someone says Keter, you can let it go because eh, also English. I mean, when we take when English appropriates a word from another language, sometimes the pronunciations change and just gotta live with it. The other language might not like it. That's just how it is. And finally, I want to go into a little bit more detail about an old video I did uh, called, I believe, Snobbery in the SCP Wiki or, or something along those lines. Um, because I've had a few incidents, we'll say, in recent times where I've run into it myself, because I've done a lot of content now, even on the SCP Wiki, that is focused on, say, non-site fans? That's the best way to put this. People who are on the site and readers, but who aren't authors. People who are fans of maybe primarily Series 1 stuff, which I have my own opinions on that, but at the same time, it is an audience. To pretend like it isn't an audience is folly. And in fact, I believe it's probably the majority of the SCP audience, even if, you know, more modern SCPs can still manage to get thousands of upvotes. Uh, I think that in the end, that the Series 1, the Series 1 fan base isn't something that you should be scared of or try to avoid. And sometimes I think you should try and, you know, give them what they want. Um, but I've run into this recently, and it, and it gave me kind of pause i wanted to do a whole i was gonna do a whole video about this uh but i felt like it wasn't super important it's worthwhile in tacking into the end of this one because it is it's it's about something i've done before um the snobbery video uh, that's what it is in the end it's modern side authors being snobs about <laughs> about what content they want on their wikipedia but um in the end it doesn't really matter as long as something survives. So even though I've got a couple of articles now with a there's a thing on one of the uh, stat uh, counters that tries to like, you know, shame people, I guess, for having more off-site fans than on-site fans. There's a contributor rating and it actually tells you what your rating would be if only people who have articles on the wiki had voted. And I have a couple of those now that are and one of them, it's actually, it's almost plus 30. But if I only counted contributors, it'd be minus four. And I've got another article that I just put out, which I haven't seen the stats for yet because it hasn't updated yet. But these are a couple of, and they're Series 1 focused articles. And I've thought about where the SCP Wiki is right now in comparison to where it was, say, a year ago and a year before that. And I realized something. It's very much like the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> See, when I'm chasing the YouTube algorithm, and that's what I'm doing most of the time, because uh, I, I don't know where it is. I'm just, I'm like, I, like, I get a vague sense of where it is, and I just try and head in that direction, and then it moves somewhere else, and I'm like, oh, is it over there? And I try and go for that. Uh, playing with the YouTube algorithm is exactly the same as trying to chase the audience on the SCP Wiki, and it's used to be easier because there were less articles posted on a regular basis, so you could 
follow trends more easily. If you didn't spend, you know, if, if for if you spend a month not paying attention to trends, you wouldn't be too far behind. You could just catch yourself back up. But these days, like series f- uh, four, yeah, series four was like. How long did it take for us to get less than a year or at best a little bit over a year to go from the beginning to the end of it? Whereas before we had series that would take, uh, whereas before we had series that might take like half a decade to fill up almost. So uh, the moving target on the SCP wiki of what the audience wants has really become uh, difficult to follow. Um at the same time, you don't necessarily have to follow an audience for the SCP. We can just write good stuff and people will mostly upvote it. Uh, people will still get their snob on every <laughs> once in a while and be like, well, this is Containment Breach. I'm not a fan of Containment Breach, so I think this is terrible. I even wrote an, it's a really hilarious thing. The most recent thing I did was essentially... A lesson in orbital me- you're gonna get it on Thursday because I'm gonna do a reading for the channel. But it was essentially an e- a lesson on orbital mechanics, disguised as, "Hey, what would happen if we threw SCP-096 into the sun?" So I used, you know, a common, uh, I'm not gonna say newbie, but a common, uh, let's say, offsite fan uh, idea, and used it to tell, to educate a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, and the onsite fans, the the writers, were like, "Ugh." This is terrible. And the offsite fans, who you would think would be, would balk at an orbital mechanics lesson, were like, I like this. This is good. <laughs> it's, just, it's impossible to please everyone. Like, they're like, me, an intellectual, doesn't like it. <laughs> orbital mechanics? I'm an intellectual. I don't want to read about orbital mechanics. It's the weirdest snobbery I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more of my content, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new content. And if you'd like to support this content even further, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level. If you pledge at 5 10 or $20 like the people here on the screen already have, you're going to get your name in one of my videos. And also, it's... Nice to know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday.